Hi guys. Well, I said my piece and I don't know how well it was taken. I mean, my niece and my brother aren't yelling at me, but whether or not they're having a big blow up at my house, I don't know. But I just kind of, I'm trying not to come from like an attack zone as in like, you're doing something wrong, you need stricter boundaries, like, like anything for either of them, right? I'm trying to come through it as like a concerned aunt, a concerned sister. And I saw things that weren't desirable again up on some of her socials and kind of said like, what the heck is going on? Seriously, like you are making choices that could get you into real danger. You, I am scared for you. Um, and I'm also scared that someone will see this and someone will turn them in. And she was trying to say like, oh, well, it's all like private, only friends can see it or something like that. And I'm just like, all you need is one parent to look over their child's shoulder or teachers at school or whatever. Like, it's not even about just, th th the fact is they're doing it and they shouldn't be doing it. They are so young. Um, and it's so frustrating because so many of my friends Ugh, so many of my friends I know so many of my family members are doing one of the things that she is doing um uh, but not the other so I don't know like that must just be normal peer pressure um but it's scary and so I just said that to her like it's scary I don't want to see you I don't want to see your dad get in trouble I don't want to see you have to go move somewhere else like I am coming from someone who loves you and I don't want to see you get into trouble and you know you're making these choices that could get you and you know family in trouble and I don't want that happening and yeah I basically said you know if you hate me you hate me but I'm gonna you know I love you guys no matter what and like I just feel like I'm flagging a bad heart and she she messaged me and said oh well you've just got me in trouble because you've just said this and I'm like I'm not getting you in trouble you're getting yourself in trouble because you're doing things that you shouldn't be doing and she's not getting in trouble she might be getting a little bit of a lecture but she doesn't take it to heart because she doesn't care. Um, I needed this. He, he doesn't even have the audacity to say, you're right. I'm struggling. Like, thank you for being concerned about her. Thank you for being concerned about me. Like nothing. It's just always, you're stressing me out. Like, you're worrying about nothing and I'm just like the warning signs are all there like no wonder she I mean she's a teenager I was just with teenagers all weekend and they I mean she's not even actually a teenager yet so she's not even but I was just with teenagers like they are so I feel so bad because I mean I did read my diaries but I wasn't that like like I feel, like I know that I've been around um, like cousins and stuff who were younger and um, you know, like you do very much feel you have an identity crisis at like this age and you're like, you know, you don't think anyone values you so you pretty much don't value yourself and you don't see what amazing and beautiful talent you can you possess um and it's just it's heart-wrenching it's heart-wrenching to see 
generations of our youth falling into traps of these um like temptations and trials and you know people feeling useless like they can't help or do anything about this and you know I feel like she's being enabled um to do these things and she's gonna be down the track instead of people trying to be like to say hey stop and think about what you're doing um they're just like oh well we don't want her to get mad at us or we're all they've got so you know like we don't agree with what they're doing and we've tried to tell them that it's not good but that's it like I swear, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, she's going to look back on this and be like, what the heck? Like, why did you not stop me? You know, like, why did you not try to stop me? And I know it's hard in this day and age, and I know parenting is so much harder, and there's so much harder you can, like, it's just... I just don't understand it and I don't think I will ever really understand it and in some ways it makes me glad that I don't have children but it also breaks my heart at the same time because this is what I cling to with the kids that are here like I try so hard to make sure that I'm there for them that they know I love them no matter what they do mistakes happen and that is okay but um you know that their choices have consequences and I I just feel like the choices don't have consequences in this, in these situations, or she gets away with certain things. Schools letting her get away with things. Malls have let her get away with things. Family members are letting her get away with things. And I feel like it's all a cry for help. Like, how much more do I have to do? And to a certain extent, there are some government officials involved. Um, and they're still not doing anything. Why? She's a minor. I don't get it. Like, this is why I am not home because I literally would cause shit at home because I cannot handle seeing things so out of control and not being able to do anything. And I feel completely and utterly helpless over here, but I just have to give it up to God and I just have to keep praying for them and praying that. things will get better and that she we won't find her in a gutter she won't get taken away she won't mental health wise she won't have something bad happen to her or put herself in a situation where she gets raped or or, or anything like that like I just most people you talk to even the kids that were really, really wayward, it's not happening as young as it's happening with her. And I get that she has had a lot to deal with in her little years. I 100% feel for what she has had to go through in her life that she shouldn't have had to go through. Um, but yeah, I just... My heart goes out to her and I wish I could make a difference instead of being seen as like the prude Christian auntie over here. Take religion out of it and it's still not okay. It's still not okay. It's still dangerous situations that is she is putting herself in. And she goes and has the audacity to say, well, you're getting me into trouble. 
And I've heard her say that about the school before. Well, I can't stay in school. Like, can they just give me a break and let me stay in school for a bit? Well, if you didn't break the rules, they're not Christian. It's not a religious school. When you break the rules, there are consequences. You're not one or two or three or four or five. And yes, you're still young enough that you're a minor and somebody else needs to be. But you don't have that. And I really don't feel like even if I was there, I could do anything. The only thing I can do is try to be there when the shit hits the fan. And turn my life upside down and go home. And I don't feel like it's going to be for it. I don't feel like I'm going to have to go for ages, but I am going to have to go. And at one point in time, I didn't think I would have to go until my mom got sick. But the way things are going, such a reality for me, such a reality that things are just not okay. So I'm trying to save as much money as I can. I'm trying to, in doing that, I should be making dinner and not getting dinner out because we do have food here. So in saying that, I'm going to go take something out of the freezer and try to get it to the frost. Um, yeah. Anyways, that is my little soapbox today. I am feeling utterly defeated I'm just feeling like my brother doesn't care what I say and just it's frustrating because I have two brothers who are like this two brothers and three children nieces and nephews who are slipping through the cracks and luckily my other set does have a good role model there um and I, it's not that she doesn't have a good role model because she does but yeah it's just it's just hard she it's hard when they don't feel like they can say or do anything. Really? So, anyways, that's me on my soapbox. Have a good evening.